Hey guys, I have created a new patch for you, which makes it very easy to control the um, opacity of your textures here in this Spark AR Studio like this. And yeah, of course, you can download this patch for free and I will show you in this video how you can use it with a JPEG file and also with a PNG file. The PNG file needs a little workaround. So yeah, just stay um, till the end of this video where I explain how you can um, yeah, do this workaround and then yeah, just download the patch and then we can start with this video. Let's go! Hey again! So let's control the opacity of your textures here in this Bug AR Studio. As I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have created a patch that makes it very simple to control yeah, the opacity of your textures here in this Bug AR Studio and of course you can download this patch for free. So just go to the description and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox site, here you will find two um, yeah, example pictures we will use in this tutorial but of course you can use your own images or graphics and here we also have the opacity controller.arp file and this is the batch we will use to control the opacity so just click on download and download all the files after the download is done we can go back to the spark ar studio and then of course we have to import our um yeah assets we have just downloaded. So for this we go to the assets panel, click on the plus and then we click on import from computer. So here we just um, select all the files we have just downloaded and then we click on open. So the first step after the import is that we select our textures and then go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. So, at first I will show you the <coughs> opacity controller with a JPEG file and then I will show you the opacity controller with a PNG file because the PNG file needs a little workaround so it works properly. So yeah, <coughs> the first step we have to do is to create two uh, materials for our textures. So one will be for the JPEG and the next will be for the PNG. So we should start just with the JPEG. So I will create a material, I will call it this image so then i go to the right hand side and set the shader type of the material to flat then i go down to diffuse and i click on the little arrow next to texture so now we have this yellow um, patch in our patch editor the next step is that we drag and drop our opacity controller patch into the patch editor so just drag and drop it and then we have it here so now we will um, create a, a plane for our material so we can see something here in our you know, viewport. So for this go to your scene, click on the plus and here search for plane. So now we have a plane in the middle. Now select the plane, I will call this image. Um, go to the right hand side and set the material to our image material. <clears throat> At the moment it is just white because yeah, we just haven't set the image yet that we will do now. So now we go back to our patch editor and the opacity controller has a nice drop down here at the texture. So just click on it and here select the image or graphic you want. I will go with the JPEG first. So I will just um, yeah, select that, this and then I just connect the texture um, output to the image, um, to the yellow image patch and then we have our picture here visible in our yeah, viewport and now we can just control the opacity so go to your patch editor and then yeah, play around with the opacity so um, yeah you can also just control the complete visibility so you can turn it on and off and yeah now you can play around with this input so for example you can make a purse animation for this we go to add patch then we search for a loop animation and we also need a transition patch. So the transition patch we have to set from vector free to, vec uh, to number and then we can just connect the um, progress output of the loop animation which goes from 0 to 1 um, in a duration of 1 second. We can also set it to 2 and then the progress goes into the progress input. Um, make sure it is set to mirrored so it pulses and then we can just connect the value with the opacity and now 
the picture here is pulsing. So when you set down the duration to 0.5, it is doing that much faster. So yeah, this is how you can control the opacity on a JPEG file. As I already have said, the, um, J, uh, the PNG file needs a little workaround. So we do this again. We create a material. I will call this PNG. Set the shader type to flat and then again, click here on <clears throat> yeah, texture on the little arrow next to it. So now we need another um, opacity controller, of course. So just drag and drop it into your patch editor. Um, yeah, we can already select the texture here. So I will choose the PNG example. And then we, of course, need a new plane. I will call this yeah, graphic. Go to the right hand side and set the material to the PNG material. So now when we connect, okay, let's move this a little bit down so it doesn't overlay to the PNG. When, now, when we connect the opacity controller with our PNG, um, yeah, the PNG is not transparent anymore. It has this black thing around it and we don't want this, of course. So to get rid of this, because we can already change the opacity, but also the black frame is yeah, changing too. So we want to get rid of the black frame. This is very simple and this is the thing I have I was talking about just select the material then activate the alpha channel and here for the texture you just um, yeah select the same PNG you use here as in the texture contro uh, uh, opacity controller so for the PNG example and now the yeah black mm, yeah black frame is gone and of course we can also use here the transition patch to make this pores nice so yeah this is all the magic about the opacity controller here in the spark ar studio i hope this um yeah video was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so see you in the next video bye